Hello, it's Glen McCrory and you're watching Mariners TV. So Lee, do you feel unfortunate to come away from here with only a draw today? Uh, somewhat, somewhat. Um, you know, on paper, you know, you look at the league table and a point away from home against second place team is, you know, you would, you would consider that a good point. And, you know, hopefully come the end of the season it will be a good point. Um, but on the balance of play, you know, I thought we, you know, we, we probably deserved a little bit more. Especially second half there where you're impressed yeah. with the performance. Yeah. I thought the game ebbed and flowed a little bit um, throughout, throughout the game. You know, first half I thought we came out the block so, so sharp. First five minutes we we literally came flying out the blocks and obviously Axel, I was delighted for young Axel to get a, you know, a fantastic, um, fantastic first goal for the, for the club and, uh, and what a stage to do it on. Um, you know, kind of repaid our faith in, in him after his, after his good performance on Saturday. And then, you know, we've, we've obviously conceded literally four or five minutes later uh, from a set piece. Um, and that kind of rocked us a little bit, rocked us a little bit psychologically. Um, and we took quite a long time to get ourselves back on, back on track. But we had, you know, we got to half time, uh, consolidated, had a little chat and um, set out, you know, what our plans were for the second half. And again, maybe not our best first five, five minutes or so second half, but after that, I thought we played some fantastic stuff and really there was only one, one team in it from there on in. Um, so yeah, really proud of the, the performance tonight and uh, we, we, we kind of showed what we're all about as a side. You went into that second half with four bookings as well, so you, so you yeah, in that sense we were as well, literally walking a tightrope. Um, but I thought uh, as poorly as we managed a lot of situations in the first half, I thought we managed the situation really well in the second half. So all credit, all credit to the lads for, for, for that. And uh, yeah, it's a, it'll, be a, it'll be a positive bus on the way home tonight and um, again one or two players that have been injured will be coming, be coming closer and closer to, to, to bolster our options uh, moving forward and we'll look forward to being back in Mariners on Saturday. Lots of positive performances today from, but especially Darren Lofton if he had a good game Darren, on the left. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I thought, I thought both full backs in the second half were excellent. They gave us a real outlet. Um, we worked the midfield area much better and in turn that, that created the space for us because they, in order for them to, to kind of you know deal with, with our dominance in, in the centre of the park, they had to uh, they had to tuck players inside, which then released the spaces for us on the outside. Um, we still could do you know could be a little bit better with our kind of final ball and in and around the box. Our play is still a little bit, a little bit hit and miss, shall we say? But um, you know, overall, again, I thought the the. The performance was really, really strong in the second half. It was a big week with two big games as well. To come up with it with four points it must be a positive. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. And uh, I know Scarborough have won tonight, but you know, if we look at the teams in the top four, we've only got one game left now. Other teams in the top four, and I think everybody else will. Barmer Bridge have got five, and I think Hyde have still got a couple, and Scarborough have got a couple. So you know, there'll be points. You know, there'll be points dropped here and there, and we've just got to keep focusing on ourselves. And uh, if we can, if we can, you know, match the quality of our play in the second half from here on in, then you know, I'll be really surprised if we drop too many points between now and the end of the season. Just finally, before all the lights go out, Radcliffe Borough yeah. home on Saturday. What, what are you making of that game? It's, a, it's another game. Yeah, just it. good, good to be back. It obviously, you know, me and Graham spend virtually every day of our lives at Mariners Park and we, we, we cast our eye over the pitch every and you know it's Gary Crutwell's done an, an absolutely amazing job with the pitch and it's and it's held up really really well uh, thanks in large to the to the job that Gary's done and uh, we'll have another good surface to play on on Saturday and um, yeah we're thoroughly looking forward to it just want to say you know well done to, to High tonight for their part in what I thought was a really a really good game of non-league football so uh, well done to uh, to Darren and his staff and his team, and uh, we'll you know fingers crossed we'll be we'll be locking swords uh, crossing swords uh, next season hopefully in the in the next division up.